What's up my vlogs? It's your girl Moelle and I am back again with another video. We are starting this video off in the bathroom. This is going to be a stationary video. This whole video is going to be only in the bathroom. And let me tell you what we're going to be doing. But based on the title, you clearly see that I am going to be installing this wig. This is like the third time I think I will be installing a wig. This is still very much so trial and error. I think the last time I installed a wig was probably two years ago. I doubt it was on camera. But yeah, and I don't think it was a hot mess. I just think it wasn't perfect. Today is currently Christmas Eve. Tomorrow is Christmas. We are doing my hair for Christmas, y'all. I cannot be looking crazy for Christmas. So come on, let's let's see what I can put together. So let's talk about the hair. This is a colored wig. I've never had color hair, never. Um, The most color I've ever had was burgundy hair, which this hair is still kind of orange burgundy-ish, but I've only had like burgundy braids, but actual wig, full head of hair, no. I was so nervous, but this hair is Unbur hair. I found this hair on Instagram. This is not sponsored, but hey, let's treat it like it is a sponsored video. So, Sunbur hair, guys. This is the box that it comes in. I already looked inside the box, but I have not opened the wig, and they gave me a bunch of free stuff. But I want to show you guys the video that I saw that made me want to get this hair. This is the video. It, it was a real. Okay, so that was the video I saw and I think everything was just perfect about it not the style but just like the hair it was still textured it was still kinky and the color was perfect I feel like I've been trying to manipulate this color but every time I see it it's either way too orange or way too red and when I saw the saw it in the plastic just now it's spot on spot on but I haven't touched the hair yet, so it's not um, straight and it's not, uh, is it body wave? It is kinky hair. Connect along. I don't really know the right terminology. I'm not a wigmatologist, so don't hold it against me. But it's connect along hair. This is the hair in the packaging. You can even see it that it looks to me. They gave me some free nails. Not only that, y'all, these look like some really good nails. I mean, let's not do that. These look like some really good nails. Uh, like a goodie bag full of stuff plastic bag you know what we use to keep our wigs down i already have one from like my past wig so i'm gonna use that instead of opening the new one and they gave me lashes but these look like good lashes guys not those skimpy lashes they be giving y'all um i'm currently gonna use this wig cap but this wig cap this is a makeup brush that came to me broken yeah so it's cute though if i understood why it came to me broken I already know that this hair is going to be kind of poofy, like it's going to be kind of big and I have no idea what I really want to do to it and how to style it. I was thinking like, how would I flat iron or straighten this hair when it's already textured to be kinky? You get what I'm saying? I think, I think I'm going to put flexi rods and mousse in it. It's going to be like big curls for tomorrow. But let me take this wig out. I'm so excited. It looks so good. And it already looks like it's plucked and all that, y'all, because I don't know how to do that stuff. Uh, even the lace is kind of tinted. Like I'm really, oh, it's baby hairs already on it. It's already straight. Oh, yes. And this is the hair. I like that because it was folded, you know? But, oh my gosh. Let's try to see like what this, the scalp really gives I don't really know but I'm about to be giving Ariel oh no wow that's Aladdin wow um okay so I calmed down for being like really excited because when I opened the wig I just wanted to like play in it for a little bit but let's get down and dirty now from my experience of me doing my own wigs, my experience, my own wigs, I have difficulties with glue. I don't know what it is, but shoddy, me being shoddy, 
can't glue. <laughs> like, I end up getting glue, like, all over the place. Like, I really don't know what it is with me and glue. <clears throat> I'm terrified to take this head down. But... So, what I'm going to use is elastic spray. Not got to be. I feel like this ebony lace bond chair spray. This works really good for me. feel that when you glue and you have to keep like maintaining it throughout the week or whatnot everybody know when you have a wig you're gonna have to maintain it throughout the day do you get what i'm saying and i'm gonna take y'all step by step through this but i'm not gonna talk to y'all step by step like i really really know what i'm doing because i don't so say it like you're listening to me just talk okay i had scissors somebody stole them so we're about to just do what we what, what we can do. So, I'm gonna pull everything down as far as it go. I feel like a lot of the times of me having okay wig um, thingies is that I did not really pull my wig caps down. So for that, they were kind of still loose. And I feel like if you don't have a good foundation of this, then it's gonna be bad. I'm going to try to glue down. Well, I'm you guys, this stuff, even if you've used it, because I've accidentally used this as hairspray. Let me tell you guys, don't do it. Even when you get this stuff on your fingers, y'all, it be so sticky. Like, don't, don't do it. It's made for lace. It's nothing else but made for lace. So, now I'm going to take a blow dryer on cool... Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is not a quick process, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm also very pissed off because I don't wanna do this shit no more. So, pull this up, it looks a little white right here because I just pulled it up to see if it was really sticking to me. I think I'm gonna do like another layer of this, but I don't really think you're supposed to be layering this because it's not glue. But whatever, whatever, whatever. Make sure we get these corners because we don't want our wigs lifting. Ain't that what they say? So basically, I'm just gonna do this one more time. That's all I needed. Well, it was okay the first time, but I want it to be a little bit, I, I didn't feel like it was as tight. Now I feel like it's as tight, so. everything is dry and on my scalp but now it's time to this drink off i don't have any scissors but i do have this and this is what i planned on using i think this is also way too far on my forehead like i don't know why i did that Bruh, it won't cut wow i'll be back i found some scissors and they're small and precise so yeah I also think this is too far on my forehead. Oh, wow. I gotta glue this so far on my forehead. Now I look stupid. Bruh, guys, I glued it so much that it's on my eyebrow right now. Like, why would I ever in my entire life glue my whole head? Guys, y'all should see me. Y'all see me with this. Y'all should see me with actual glue. It's so much worse. Like, so much worse. But, trial and error. I think this is still too... I'm so trying to concentrate right now, man, because this is so glued to me. It don't hurt, but you can tell it's stuck on my skin. Ouch, that kind of... This is okay, right? Or is this still too much? I don't even know what's too much or too little for real, for real, y'all. Like, I do not know. I know it should be kind of common sense, but I really don't know. 
I don't know. I'm going to put the wig on my head to try to gear me to the right direction. If you get what I mean, because I don't, I don't know. Oh my God, y'all look so cute. I feel like this color fits me so well. But let me see. Oh, I don't think that's too far, is it? Oh, maybe like a little. It is still too much. Okay. I'm going to fix this and I'm going to come back. I'm having issues right here and it's just refusing to stay down. But at this point in time, I'm choosing to ignore it. So if I'm choosing to ignore it, you should choose to ignore it. But now we can agree that we are like finally looking like we're beginning with something. I have a hot comb. It's not that good. But of course you need a hot comb in situations like these. So I do not know how people. I am going to put the wig back on my head and I'll measure where I want it to go. Okay. 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 All right. That's where I want it to go. I'm going to because I cannot function like this. So I'm going to put a scrunch on it here only because I cannot function like this. Yeah. Boom. It's already going into my glue that I have placed. And I don't want it to do that as of yet. So I'm going to cut this into like three parts because I see a lot of videos that like you need to work with more space. And I feel that I don't give myself a lot of room. Like I really know what I'm doing and I don't. So I have to give myself some more room. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now, knowing what I know. This is where everything's going to lay. Yeah, I'm going to glue it down. I'm going to try to avoid... All right, so I did it a little bit, and I'm just going to throw this right on there because I really don't want to hold that blow dryer anymore. And then I'm going to see what I'm working with with the rest of the hair. Boom. And I call that being almost done. Good job, team. We did it. Ooh, I needed to see a little bit. So, boom. Don't ask me when I'm going to cut that off. I'm really scared to cut it off. <laughs> so, I don't want to do it yet. I'm actually about to change the position of the camera right now. So, bear with me. Guys, I was changing position, so you're more over this way. Um, but it's probably time to take this off. I was really scared, but boom! <gasps> I don't know how to feel. Still, I don't know how to feel. I'm so scared still. <sighs> but yeah, let's just cut the lace. Nothing's gonna happen. We just gotta cut the lace. Cut the lace. Um, I gotta have to get this off and off of me. <sighs> My gosh. I need help. Like, this is too much. I don't know how I keep getting my whole face glued down. Like, how do I keep doing this? I heard don't cut in a straight line because your hairline's not, not straight. I heard of that before. But I'm just cutting kind of where it's tearing. <laughs> like, I don't even know where to begin with this because I'm cutting where it's tearing. So... Uh-oh. Am I cutting my leg? I am cutting my leg. Am I supposed to cut all this hair? What in the world? I'm back. My forehead looks gigantic because I probably cut off too much release. But forget it. Um, but honestly, guys, come on out. Give it to me. Give it to me. Lace to wear. Now I'm about to explain what I did. Cause I get kind of, I'm getting kind of like frazzled on camera right now because I don't do wigs. So I was getting nervous. So yes, I needed to take my breaks guys and get older for a little while. So now I'll gladly explain to you guys what I did. I forgot that I kept cutting, cutting this lace and I'm like, why does this lace look so white on me? I forgot to put makeup on my lace before I applied it so it will melt properly. Mind blown. So I just took my contour palette. Like y'all seen me use this a thousand times and this is what I use. And I took the darkest shade because it was looking so freaking white. And I'm just 
did that. I did that, guys. So now it's currently time to get into the styling portion of it all. And I don't know if I would like a side part or middle part. But again, let me remind you, let me remind you, we're doing big curls. But since I already feel that my forehead looks so big with this situation, I think I might want to do a side part because my forehead looks so big right now. Mm hmm Side part for sure. This hair is so soft. Like I, I don't even want to fuck with y'all like that. And it's so soft, guys, that I don't even know how to really handle it. Because it's flying away. Is this straight? Some people make their hair do a little. I think it's too much. Hot comb is warm. Right? Yeah, it's hot right now. So, some people got that little hook. I don't know if I should blow dry the hair first. Because, like I told y'all, this hair has a little bend to it on the end. Because it had to fold up to get in the box. So, I should... So I was looking for my serum because I understand that this hair is still, you know, whatever. But I'm just took literally a little bit and I'm gonna do it for the entire head because this stuff right here is extremely lightweight. I'm so excited by the way this look. Like y'all cannot tell me that I'm not laying this motherfucking lace. So now I have a comb and I don't have a paddle brush. I actually do, but it's somewhere around here. But I don't feel like finding it. So. My blow dryer gets so freaking hot that it practically damn near straighten his hair. And I was really sitting here like, I got, I will read the details to y'all again because honestly, I forgot what inches this is, 20 maybe. And I was like, this looks freaking short, but I understand that the hair is a little kinky or not. But yeah, now that I blow dried it, I was like, oh yeah, this is for sure now what I have like ordered. This hair is so soft. I really want my hot comb to do what it's supposed to do, which is get these roots down, child, because the roots are still really kinky. I wasn't trying to hit my um, roots as much because I didn't want to put a hole in the lace because that flat iron is heavy. So now, let me just... Okay, that did a, that did a little something, something. Not gonna lie, it did. I can't believe I forgot to put foundation on my entire lace. And you could tell. You could tell. Oh, that's so good. I feel like it don't get that hot, but it's doing its job, I guess. But I feel like it should be hotter than this, than what it is. You guys, I hate these elastic bands because they make my freaking ears hurt out, like so bad. So, this is the hair. Let's see what it looks like when we take off the ouch my ears. Oh lord. Oh my god. God. <laughs> Nobody told me when did I become a hairstylist? Oh, I burnt the hair. But we're not gonna talk about that. I want to ignore it because I just cried about it. So yeah, but I burnt the hair. Um oh my god. What do I wanna call myself? It looks like my name is like Alessandra or something, you know what I mean? I don't know how to do edges. I really want to know how, but I don't know how. All right, so can I say per? Can I say lace wear? I, I can say lace wear because baby lace wear is not right there. That's other hair. I got stuff. Wow. That's why my part is part. Is it cool? There we go. There we go. Put some makeup where this part is because like I told y'all I forgot to put freaking makeup in my lace. Like why would I do that? Okay. I'll focus on that later. 
but now we have to put the flexi rods in his hair guys i am so tired like i've been doing so much all day but i'm gonna put this on so my lace don't you know move and stuff How am I gonna do this? I think I'm gonna do it by sections. So I'm going to take this and put it in a bun or whatever to the side. And then I'm just gonna do it by section. I'm gonna take like this bunch of hair. Because the hair is like super soft, guys. So I'm gonna take like that much of hair. So I put some mousse in my hand, guys, and I'm putting it on the section. Getting it nice and damp for a, for a while. Look at how the color just changed when I just made it wet. And I'm just going to go from ends to up, I guess. I don't even really know how to flex it around, guys. Y'all gonna probably be like, Moelle, you don't know how to do anything. Why are you doing this video? Um, it's because I want to try new things. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this video. So yeah, and then I don't even know how you make them stay. I hope that stays. I take off orange one. Oh, I think these purple ones are bigger. Oh, maybe I should have used a purple one. I'll do it for the other back. It's okay. Trial and error. Trial and error. And then boom, like that. I think I need to get it tighter. So I'm going to just keep going, going. Oh, you know what I saw somebody do in a video? If you go, keep going, going. And then they like twisted it or something like that and then they tied it i think that would be better oh yeah see that made it better you got to do the little twist thing to it mm -hmm. All right. so we have a system now you know what i'm saying guys a system now boom all done i totally forgot to record the last few because i forgot and i really wanted to get this done and over with i really need to wash my face like that is all glue but i am freaking exhausted if i plan on doing edges or attempting because i told y'all i cannot do it it will be tomorrow for sure so i will be back you know tomorrow with the end results um but currently right now i'm gonna clean up this bathroom because i made a complete disaster in here and then i'm going to go to bed so what's up guys it's the next day and we are back so now guess what it's time to do take out these rollers um i have a lot going on like um i put on lashes because i feel that if i already put on the lashes that's going to tie in the look all the way and this is my fit for christmas so i have a plain white tee and gray pants <laughs> so let me show y'all what i'm gonna do first thing i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna take um, a littler brush because i kept trying to apply makeup the thing with a big brush and try to put it right where my scalp or the part is hopefully you know because i told y'all i'm a little stupid and why did she forget to put makeup on the entire thing like that is the reason why it is what it is you know what i'm saying i'm gonna start with the back i'm too scared to look at the lace up front so i'm just gonna decide to ignore that for right now and just pray that the <gasps> what um, let's see the rest though. We gotta trust the process. That's what they be saying. Trust the process. Okay, that one was uh, way better than the first one I just take out, took out. So. Okay, trust in the process still. Trust in the process. Uh oh. Trust in the process. This hair is still super soft, even with the mousse on it and all y'all. So, 
maybe I had extra purple ones. So now that I know like how much this hair can hold and stuff, I'm gonna put like bigger rolls throughout the whole thing. But I did I did not do that for this one. I know that because I was scared that I was gonna run out of rollers. But the hair was so soft that I could make the sections, you know, like bigger and stuff. But of course the littler ones are more defined. So yeah, who knows? Who knows? We're still trusting the process. Uh-oh. Oh, because -uh. oh, remember guys, I was doing like the twist method. So I just want to make sure the hair is actually big because I wanted big hair and the hair was or is big if you get what I'm saying. So I just hope me blow drying it, I didn't stop it from being big. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of um, oil guys and on my palm of my hand, whoa, that was a lot. But a little bit because this hair is so soft. I don't want to weigh it down if y'all get what I'm saying. Take some of this and finger coil throughout my head. I'm so excited, guys. I really installed a wig. And y'all was playing with me. I thought y'all, I knew y'all wasn't like, she ain't going to do this wig, right? You know, I wish I had a better hot comb to lay this because that's what it needs. Oh, man. But now, it's time to take off this band. <sighs> oh. Oh. Right now, so I wanted to show y'all what it looked like outside. And honestly, none of, nobody's gonna pay me. Like, I really installed this wig on myself, and I did that. I give it a seven and a half out of ten i feel like if i had a really good hot comb maybe it would have been really but other than that yeah per all right guys so it's currently the next day guys i put this wig through a lot honestly for it to be the next day but it's really really good it's no shedding like no shedding like nothing um i'm talking like i'm sponsoring this hair um it combs through it don't get nappy it's still holding my curl that i had after i sweated it out drank it out or let the lace is still staying like it's stuck on my scalp but i was getting a new hairstyle today so i just needed this for christmas i really love this color like come on don't play because y'all know this color look good on me but i really love this color um and yeah and this was the first wig i ever did and i think i did a really really good job like glue installing it all that i know that when i do my next one because oh it's going to be a next one that i probably shouldn't cut as much lace as i did off my sides i probably need to leave the lace or whatever but i didn't know that <laughs> but i know now so it's gonna be okay so i will see you guys in the next video i really hope you enjoyed this one y'all went through my trials and errors with me you get what i'm saying Thank you for watching this vlog because your time is all I really needed. See you guys in the next video, my vlogs.